Welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. It is Monday. That means it's time for a segment we call On Your Health. It's our chance to discuss important medical and health topics with the doctors of Florida Medical Clinic, the Bay Area's first clinic to merge both primary care physicians and specialists all under one roof. Today, we welcome Dr. Annalie Gunn, who will tell us how patients can best be prepared for their next visit with their doctor. Welcome, Dr. Gunn. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Hey. Talk to us about the advantages of having so many different types of doctors under one roof. I think it's called a, a multi-disciplinary... Or multi-specialty clinic. Multi-specialty clinic. Why is that so advantageous for patients? Well, I think you can streamline things. You have uh, access to all sorts of specialists, uh, primary care, uh, ancillary services like lab and x-ray. Um, and you really have uh, immediate answers to things. Um, you can pick up the phone, speak with one of the specialists. They can access the chart, and particularly with the electronic health record, your notes are available almost immediately, particularly when you use a um, transcription software such as we're using in the clinic now. And you've used the, the electronic records for quite a while. I think it's law now, or it's going to become law and require everybody to do that. But uh, right. FMC, you, you guys have been ahead of that for a long time, right? Right. I, I believe FMC was the first clinic in the area to use it. Don't quote me, but yeah, one of the sounds first. good anyway. Yeah. As, as a doctor specializing in family medicine, I mean, you get to see the whole gamut of, of different medical issues, and it's also got to be, it has to be a very rewarding practice for you as well. Yeah, I love my job. I mean, it's good to hear. Yes. Yeah, I absolutely love my job. I uh, treat my patients like I want my family to be treated. And hey, and let's, let's talk about going to the doctor because. I, th I think women are more inclined to go to the doctor than guys are, but we encourage everyone to, oh, to, go, to go to the doctor. <laughs> right. Uh, it, it, when, you're, when you're going for your next doctor's visit, what, what types of things should you have together? What should you do? How should you best be prepared? Well, um, it's important to have an agenda. And, uh, you know, I, I like it when people actually write lists down and show me the list right away because mm -hmm. then I can triage the problems and I can pinpoint what may be more important Whereas the patient, I don't expect them to know what might be a potential health risk. Mm -hmm. um, and their idea of what they think is important, it may be completely different than mine. So it's nice to go through and just do a headline of each problem, and that way I can use the time most efficiently. Speaking of time, it's important for, for the whole process to start on the right foot with the patient being on time. Makes things easier. <laughs> it always helps because then it's like a domino effect. Then the next patient is behind, and the next one, and the next one. and. Um, it, it, it's sometimes hard to catch up, particularly when you have emergencies that come in that really need to be dealt with. And you, of course, uh, as we said, you want to get all your uh, records and obviously your, your medical cards and so forth together. What about uh, prescriptions, if you're taking prescriptions? I prefer it if the patient actually brings in a great big bag full of their bottles and that, that way I can read the directions and the dosages because things can change and particularly if people are seeing other providers in the community. Um, you may have a person seeing three or four different doctors and each one is prescribing something different and that can be dangerous or potentially fatal. Sometimes I'll think of something that's bothering me and then when I go and see my doctor, I forget to ask about that. So it's important to be prepared just, I guess, to have a list of things that you want to talk about. Yeah, that, that, that's great. The, the four dreaded words in family practice is, <laughs> by the way, doc, yeah. and it's usually with your hand on the doorknob. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, that, that always helps. And, and that way I can utilize the time because there, there is a, a limit. Um, I'd love to spend as much time as I can with everybody, um, and, but unfortunately we can't. There's other people waiting. But if I, if I have an idea ahead of time, then I, I really can use the time better. What, do you ever get the sense that, especially I think if, if you're seeing a doctor for the first time, a patient might tend to hold back a little bit, you know, like maybe, so let's say you're a smoker and the doctor says, well, well, how much do you smoke? And then you realize, well, there you are in the doctor's office. You don't really want to admit that you smoke at all because you really shouldn't. And you, oh, I, I smoke half a pack a day. But you really should be completely honest with the doctor, couldn't you? Yeah, that's always best. I mean, there's no judgment. I mean, we're there to help. And, you know, I, uh, I grew up in Canada, I went to medical school in Canada, and there you really don't earn a huge living. So you go into 
um, medicine because you it's what you want to do and and you love it and it's your calling um, I, I can tell from talking with you you have you would have a great bedside manner and I'm sure you talk about it with your colleagues but how important that is obviously doctors you, you guys are brilliant but to have that uh, rapport with your patients and make them feel comfortable that probably goes further in a lot of instances yeah it does you know I will, uh, yeah particularly if they have a good sense of humor yeah um, but I mean, you, you, read, yeah. Yeah, you, you read the person, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you give them what you need and it's their appointment, you know, it, it's their appointment. It's hard enough to go to the doctor. I don't like going to the doctor. Um, I don't think anybody really does. You're vulnerable. You don't feel well. You really have to find somebody that you click with and somebody that um, you feel comfortable with. And that's the bottom line. Hey, fall is approaching. It's almost back to school time. And that, of course, means the uh, fall, uh, uh, cold and flu season. Uh, let's talk about flu shots. Should we, uh, what's, what's, how's that looking this year? Well, from personal experience, the flu is an evil little virus. <laughs> it, when I was in medical school, it had me um, on my back. And when I was a teenager, actually, I was in hospital because of it. Um, it's really important, and particularly in the past couple of years when we were dealt the H1N1 mm -hmm. fiasco. Uh, if you can get a flu shot, if you're not allergic to it, then definitely get it. I get it because I don't want the flu, and I also don't want to be the person that gives it to somebody who's vulnerable and at risk for complications um, that can't take it because of, for example, an egg allergy. Prevention is key. Dr. Anna Lee Gunn, everybody, if you'd like to learn more about the latest advances in patient care and medical research, by all means, visit Florida Medical Clinic online at floridamedicalclinic.com. While you're there, you can locate the office nearest you, learn about their doctors, like Dr. Gunn, and even request an appointment. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Thanks. Talk with the monkey now. I feel better already. Yes. <laughs> right. Bring in the monkey, ladies.